You know, they say things become a cliche when it's proven to work over and over again. But sometimes they become tiresome. In film, cliches often have the audience rolling their eyes. Here are 10 movie cliches. Number 10, The Booze Lover. Often characters are put through so much that their psyche reaches its breaking point. How do we show this? Jump to the inevitable man at the bar cliche. Sometimes this has us rolling our eyes, but other times it makes us thirsty. Of all the gin joints in all the towns in all the world, she walks into mine. Number nine, the dramatic no. We all seen this one before. You know when the camera pulls back and a character reveals his or her displeasure by shouting the dramatic line. Number eight, the elevator moment. I've been on a lot of elevators in my life and I must say not many have music. That doesn't matter though, because if your characters must take an elevator in your film, make sure you have some music playing. Or better yet, have the character comment on it. If you can't do that, just make it awkward. I like this song. Looks uncomfortable. Yeah, it gets kind of itchy. It rides up in the crotch a little bit, too. Number seven, the shitty car engine. You know, we all experience car trouble once in a while in our lives. However, in film, especially in horror movies, cars have a mind of their own. Turns out these cars inhabit the mind of a troll that seems to never allow the car to start in crucial situations. Number six, it was only a dream. So you just sat there and you watched an awesome scene. Don't you wonder how this is going to fit into the overall narrative? Things really got interesting, right? Well, wake up shit for brains. You just got hit with the dream sequence cliche. Number five, the love interest. So there you are, you're watching a movie and enjoying the setup, and suddenly a new character is introduced. Hmm, you say to yourself, this character is missing something. Why does the character just feel like a device? Your question is finally answered when the main character begins to fall for this new character. The love interest has been revealed. Number four, we got company. They say in cinema you should show, not tell. But many filmmakers throw the middle finger up to that. On one hand, we can show danger is approaching in a clever and cinematic way, or we can turn to the tried and true we got company line. Number three, the jump scare. I firmly believe there isn't a horror movie ever made that doesn't put to use the good old jump scare. I have nothing clever to say here. If you're watching a horror movie, the jump scare will soon come. You can bet your entire savings on that. Number two, the stormtrooper effect. In film, it's almost a given that bad guys can't shoot. You know what I mean. A sea of bad guys empty their bullets in the direction of the hero. Unfortunately, none of those bullets hit the mark. Get
Number one, the training montage. Sports movies are often the epitome of cliches. The underdog coming up to win it all, the rival, the final game, or the last second score. They're packed full of cliches, but there is one that stands out the most to me. Protagonists must showcase that hard work pays off and gives one the necessary growth to overcome and win the big one. How can we show this? How about a training montage? There you have it. Ten movie cliches that we all seen before. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more 10 feet of film.